Right, so Chris over Dixieland Farm, and today I'm going to show off the project I've been working on, which is using a Raspberry Pi 3 as my Myth TV front end. Now, if you don't know what any of that means, Myth TV is a program that acts as a DVR. So I showed a video about it way, way long ago. So we don't have cable here. We have a TV antenna, and that goes down into a couple of TV tuner cards that record everything on my main computer. And that main computer then feeds a TV computer. But I have now replaced that TV computer. Let's take a look. So down here is where my normal TV computer is. This is a DC7100 Compaq. Uh, it works pretty good, but it is a little noisy. It does take a bit of power. Now the Raspberry Pi, on the other hand, is this little box right here. Uh, it was $50 for the case, power supply, and the computer itself. It consumes 5 watts of power. It's got HDMI, and it works with my TV remote. So let's turn on the TV real quick. Okay, so here's the Myth TV screen, and I'm using my normal TV uh, remote, and I've programmed the keys. So the TV remote talks to the Raspberry Pi and back, back and forth. I need to leave a keyboard and mouse plugged in for that to work, but luckily those are only $10. They're tiny. They'll hide away pretty easy. So go to Media Library, watch recordings. So these are all the recordings that were recorded off my antenna. So here's the sound breaking series. It automatically downloads the cover art and that kind of stuff too if it knows what the name of the show is. So um, this I had automatically transcode to an MP4 so I can watch it on my Roku's. And you can see you can fast forward. And it also normally off the air is MPEG2. So here's the Today Show. So this is a little different than a lot of videos that are on YouTube. A lot of videos on YouTube are showing off OpenELEC or Kodi. This is actually the Myth TV Lite package. So I'm using um, a Raspbian Jesse, full desktop. Undid everything that I didn't want to be running. Um, then set up the Myth TV Lite packages. Set it up to automatically start up on boot. Set a couple of settings because the video um, was off and uh, I had to play around with a couple of settings to get that right. And once I did that, programmed a couple of keys and that was it. It's pretty much ready to go. So this thing, since it only takes about 5 watts of power, will always be on. If the power goes off, it'll, once the power comes back on, it'll automatically boot. I set it so it doesn't need to see the TV to boot correctly. Uh, and it boots right into the program. And that's it. So uh, I think Marissa's going to be very happy. Um, get rid of this old computer because the old computer had so many problems because it was old. I, I had three of them actually that I bought off eBay cheap uh, over the years and I'd swap parts in and out and sometimes the hard drives would crash and I'd have to replace the hard drive and go re-image the computer and reset it up and configure it. This uses an SD card. Um, I can back up that SD card uh, very easily and duplicate my setup. I can buy a spare for another $35 just for the motherboard and that's all I really need and uh, I'm good to go. So I'm very excited that I got this uh, to work uh, this uh, Thanksgiving weekend and we can get rid of that computer now and uh, it actually looks, be uh, looks better because it uses HDMI. Um, it, it can do hardware decoding of the MPEG-2. Uh, when I tried that it didn't work very well so I'm actually using just the processors themselves, the Raspberry Pi 3. Um, and there's some heat sinks in there just to, uh, just in case, just to make sure. So that's it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching.